Gio Santino Santissima Emanuel El Vaquero Navarrete Old time world champions in the 50s and 60s they didn't even have that busy of a would have made them become a fan of Navarrete because of his activity Grand competition to get to this point aside from his fight with Isaac Dogbe but fighter to go up against is someone who is as hungry and feels Mexico Santissima from the Philippines this place here <laughs> the MGM Grand Garden sitting ringside I will never forget certainly one to write about in the goal for him to make he wasn't done fight weeks because he you know he made the weight but it wasn't the easiest and wanting a unification fight, it hasn't really come to fruition because of how free moving up. And he kind of looked at me as like, I might be moving up after this. This might be. Sort of your late 20s, uh, you start to put on more weight against Santissima. Absolutely. And he's always been that of a professional. And you could tell by good left hand. I mean, it kind of helps you because you don't have time in between fights to balloon up. Asked him how you would describe Navarrete change his life from quote unquote rack shot as he's doing a lot of upward movement, but not throwing it. Yeah, and I think he's just being a little bit cautious. Probably. Deck, he has 26 victories. Hey, oh, there's a good shot by Santissima as he ripped. Through, throughout the media, but I don't know how privy that Santissima is to that. But The end of the second round. And they had cattle there, so they adopted the nickname of Vaquero. To the body here in round three, I think probably in his corner. Um, I, I said, let's pick it up. Some unnecessary punches, but not really at the hands of anybody that he's had to worry about to this point. But his team says he's from a guy that has 16 knockouts in 19 fights. Well, both men have quite a bit of. Now we're starting to see that quote unquote healing out process, Christina. I mean, he won the first two rounds, arguably, just off using his jab. So he hasn't really had to open up more as he does now in this exchange. There's an overhand right. We know that the super bantamweight division, an exciting division here in boxing. Ray Vodka is also a world champion within the division. There's a left hook by Navarrete no television uh, several times with his fights. A left hook to the body, but answering back to Santissima. Look at this action as he's still working hard and trying to sell pay-per-views. And what a legend that man is. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? This has been a, a joint venture, and great to see everyone working hand. Navarrete is looking to land a big shot oh, upon Gio Santissima, but Santissima comes right back, going to the bottom. Well, he's waiting for that big home run shot, and Navarrete steps in with the sweeping left cross. Oh, there's a big shot! Oh my goodness! Not off balance, but it certainly appeared like Navarrete was time to take home the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. As and there's a, that was a beautiful combination for the champion. There's a left hook by Navarrete. Left Navarrete coming forward. There's a right. It's a right cross, a left hook that connected by Santissimo. And back comes Navarrete. And, and Navarrete is letting his hands go. I mean, he probably has twice as many punches thrown at, at Gio. And I think he's going backwards. Navarrete in seek and destroy mode. Pounding away upon Gio Santissima. Santissima might be succumbing to the pressure of the Mexican champ. Show referee Russell Mora something right now. And he holds Stop. veteran Stop. move to try to keep himself in this fight. As Forward more yes. because yes. he is a lot. This is where you step. This is where you step it up. This is where you push the action. Try to body. There's that left hook to the body by Santissima, but that backs up Santissima. Oh, Another nice. right hand off. Three seconds remaining in the sixth round. A left hook that connected oh. by Santissima. There's a right to the body by Santissima to Navarrete. There's a left hook followed by a right. It's pretty impressive and landing it both. Oftentimes, though, you get caught with some of those wild hooks that he's known for. Well, getting to your point, Christina, and Navarrete continues. Tissima right now is that he's fighting primarily going backwards, and he's not as comfortable. Do you on Tuesday? He goes, I'm going to knock him spark out, or I'm going to spark him, is what he told you. <laughs> yeah, so. he, he's sticking by that second round. Deontay Wilder, yes, to this day. <laughs> and what a day it is here in Las Vegas. But right now, a left hook for Santisa. It's the activity level as division at this way, it's it's unparalleled from Emmanuel Navarrete. Oh, he gets clipped with a left hook. 
did Navarrete from Santissimo, but back comes Navarrete. I think you could throw a sledgehammer at Emmanuel Navarrete. Those that have just one game plan typically the highest level of opposition in his last percentage. So he's got some iron sharpens iron, and when you're dealing with tough adversaries, it makes you better. And I'm not tough as competition or opposition either, but he's a world champion. He's got this point. One more matchup here. In Las last two fights, only two he had in 2019. The pressure of Navarrete continues to wear on you. Well, Navarrete is, he Navarrete go to the body. You've seen him bury his attack upstairs. Vasily Lomachenko spar. His sparring partners always say, like, it's like, it takes you into deep waters, and then he, like, drowns you. He doesn't let you up to, to let his hands go. To, you get in there and try to let your hands go. No, 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 I, I understand that, it, that it's difficult. The midway point of the ninth, he may be letting this opportunity slip past him. And he looks just as fresh in the ninth as he did in the third. Well, yeah, aside from that. As I, I saw Navarrete kind of shake that right hand out. Manuel Navarrete. But still, LA Laker, great. Big boxing fan. Absolutely. Hey, these guys know how to bring the stars out, though, but I couldn't help but notice them sitting just maybe a row in front of each other. But it is upper body. That's not going to win you a world title fight, especially when you are the Santissimo. Finally, throw a punch, but back comes Navarrete. Throw accelerate punches. Look at the. We had some concerns about that right hand. He is throwing it, but it's really been the left hand that's been doing a lot of the damage as he throws five, six, seven left hands, gets in two right hands in there. It's phenomenal. He springs loose from him, and then he unloads a right hand right on the And Navarrete with a left and a right on the top of the head, and that ends the 10th round. Here you go. Spicy, okay. not spicy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Two sides, four sides. There was a question coming into this fight, Christina, about the cardiovascular conditioning. You know, Sima is known as a heavy hitter, but in order to be a heavy hitter, okay. you have to throw. Yep, and there's, there he goes. He lands a couple good body shots right there, back to the body. And, and, and as I was talking about earlier in the fight, that's his bread and butter. I would almost feel like Navarrete is bored as the same. Yeah, and he, he really wants to get the knockout. There's a left hook, and now Navarrete really pouring it on. And Tissima bullying him around the ring, snapping back his head. Look at the... He was almost running, and right there now, this may be close to being stopped. Santissima getting clobbered. Santissima in deep, deep trouble with a minute five to go. He was holding on for dear life to try to keep himself in this fight. How much more of this punishment can he take as he nearly... Under 50 seconds remaining, Emmanuel Navarrete trying to get the finish. Look at the champion go, and Russell Moore has stopped it. This one is over. Emmanuel El Vaquero Navarrete.